Hello, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Welcome back to House of Games. We've already had one show this week, Four Famous Faces, battling it out over a series of ridiculous quiz rounds in a bid to win this trophy right here. Let's meet our players again, shall we? They are Ken Bruce. Hello. Perry Shakes Drayton. Hello. Kyle Smith Bino. Hello. And Professor Alice Roberts. Hello. Welcome, one. Welcome all. On Monday, Sir Ken Bruce was our champion. Now, the knighthood hasn't yet been yeah. confirmed. Not yet. Not That's yet. weird, though, yeah. isn't it? Well, yeah, of course, I refused it because you know, <laughs> so many other people have got them. Mind you, by the time this goes out, you've got to, <laughs> let's just call him Sir Ken because it's going to happen at some point. <laughs> um, Ken, pleased with your performance on Monday? Please yeah. Please with your, yeah. Please I, with your toolbox, if you know what I mean. The toolbox is lovely. Oh, it's a Excellent. thing of joy and beauty and joy it lasts forever. and beauty. Perry, should we take a look at today's prizes? Yes. Ken won a toolbox yesterday, but if you were to win today, you can take home one of these. The hot water bottle cover, the decanter, the onesie, the playing cards, and the cycle helmet. I mean, that's a mixed bag, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it? You're, you're supposed to go, ooh, not laugh. Oh, um, my God. Which, which of those do you fancy? I like to be comfortable. So I would, I would go for the onesie. I thought you were going to say the cycle helmet. Oh, I've um, got one of them already. I'd love to be, honestly, I'd love to be comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. So you go onesie. <laughs> Uh, Kyle, what would you go for, do you think? I'm still fuming that the chopping board's gone, but whatever. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, the decanter looks nice. It is nice, actually. It's the only um, prize I have at home. Do you get what's in it as well? Yeah, but you have to tip it away. Right, Oh, I mean, my goodness. And you must tip it away. <laughs> Nowhere near pets or children. <laughs> <laughs> um, Professor Alice, should we take a look at the, uh, the weekly leaderboards? Oh, yes. Ken won yesterday. Uh, you and Kyle had a battle, but uh, Kyle just took it there. You got two points, Perry, with one. But uh, a win today, maybe? Oh, I don't know. I think um, my nemesis is the is the music. Going head to head on, with Ken on the music is very difficult for me, especially so the backwards yeah. music. I can't. Where do you even start with the backwards music? Well, at the yeah, end. Yeah, that is that's uh, that's tough even for oh. somebody who's around it. But uh, if any, you know, I, I defer to you on anatomy. When that comes up, I'm, I'm done for. I've had it. We do tend to do music more often than anatomy, <laughs> yeah. don't we? It's a shame. That's the, uh, it's a shame. And, backwards anatomy? Could you yeah, do that? Yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> shall we get on and play Tuesday's House of Games? A win yesterday for Ken. Who's going to win today? Shall we find out? Our first round today is... The answers in the question are going to go along the line. I'm going to ask you each a question. Your category is... Animals. Ken, somewhere within your question, there'll be some capital letters. OK? And the answer also happens to be an anagram of those capital letters. OK? Right. I think I've got it. So which animal is this, please? It's hard to imagine an animal that is hornier, because <laughs> the horn on this herbivore is huge. Right. Uh, I suppose that's rhinoceros. You would think so, wouldn't you? Yeah. Rhinoceros? That's the right answer. Well done. Perry, I have an animal for you. Okay. okay. If this rodent's engineering skills were to be judged, there would be rave reviews for its dams. Beaver. Beaver. Absolutely right, Perry. Well done. Good. Two from two. Kyel. This doesn't seem too scary, does it? That's not right. yet. It feels, <laughs> it feels a bit like a practice round. <laughs> yeah, it, it's for real. <laughs> but We're really doing come it. To me and we'll see what happens. <laughs> you go, yeah, exactly. Suddenly it's like a four toed marmoset. <laughs> uh, Kyle, which animal is this, please? Do I want to visit some of the coldest places in the world? Nope, as I would be scared to encounter this big cat. Hmm. Snow leopard. Oh, snow leopard? Well worked out, Kyle. It is a snow leopard. Nice. Very good on. Uh, Professor Alice, are we going to go four from four? Let's find out, shall we? What animal is this, please? This animal, also known as a spiny anteater, can hide from attacks by curling up into a ball or burrowing into the ground. Ah, oh, I know what that is. It's an echidna. Well, I think it is an echidna. Well done. They got harder as the round went on, I'll say that. Uh, Kidna, <laughs> well played, Professor Alice. Nicely done. We are four from four. Ken, we go back to you. We have a new category, and that category is US TV shows. OK. US TV shows, but which US TV shows? Or us TV shows? Which, <laughs> and that, that can only be House of Games. So you know, <laughs> all five of us have appeared together. <laughs> Here's yours, Ken. 
Julie Bowen plays a friendly mom called Claire Dumphy in this popular sitcom about a group of relatives. No, I'm not seeing that at all. Hmm. No, I don't know. The Anyone names else? are no clue. If you want to buzz in, you can. Hi, Al. Modern Family. Modern Family. Oh. Absolutely right, Claire and Phil Dumphy are parents in that show, Modern Family. Well done, Kyle Perry, a US TV show for you. When Bobby died in this soap, viewers were all sad until it turned out to be a dream. Ooh. No. No, should we time you out? Yeah. We're going to have a buzzer race on our hands. Look at these three, like vultures. <laughs> We'll time you out. Hiel wins the buzzer race. <laughs> oh, I think I've got it wrong now. Dallas. Is the right answer. Well played. Dallas. Absolutely right. Bobby, you win. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Kyle. Yes. A US TV show for you. Thus far, you've got every single question right in this round. Can you get three out of three? A kindergarten student might, at the end of a semester, set aside some vacation time to watch this edifying series involving puppets. Sesame Street. Sesame Street. On three from three on US oh. TV shows. Well, well done. Absolutely. Professor Alice, a US TV show for you. Oh. But which one? When NBC executives were pitched a warm sitcom about four women living together in Miami, they must have said, sold, green lighted at once. Oh, even, I don't know. Even Kayada's looking confused. Perry's hovering. Shall we time you out? Yeah. We'll time you out. We've got a buzzer race between Perry and Ken <laughs> wins the buzzer race. <laughs> is it the Golden Girls? The Golden Girls. Ooh. Exactly what it is. Well done. Golden Girls, we were looking for. That's the end of that round. Let's take a look at our first leaderboard of the day, shall we? Good round for Kyle. Perry, you have one. Alice, you have one as well. Ken, you've got two. Kyle in the lead with four. Well played, hey. Kyle. Uh, let's play our next round, shall we? It's going to be a pairs round, and it's going to be... You complete me. Pairs game player in last place chooses a partner. Alice, you're tied third. Would you like to choose your partner today? I'm going to stick with You're going to stick with Kyle. Lovely. Yeah, Kyle and Alice, there. you are a team. Yeah, Perry and Ken are a team. Yeah. Those are two good teams, I think. <laughs> now, in this round, I'm going to read you some questions. The answers will all have two words in them. Right. If you buzz in, you just give me the first word of the answer. Your partner then must complete the answer for you to get a point as a okay. team, OK? So buzz in, just give me the first word of the answer, please. Here's your first one. Which US author wrote the 2003 novel The Da Vinci Code? Yes, Alice. Dan. Is correct. Kyle for the point. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm going to time you both out, I'm afraid. Um, the other team, they can buzz in if you want. Ken? Uh, Dan Brown. Brown is the answer. Perry and Ken, a point to you. Uh, here's your next one. Oh. Buzz in and give me the first word of this answer, please. The 24-hour motor race that was established in 1923 at the Sartre circuit is named after which French city? Yes, that is Ken. Le. Le is correct. Perry for a point. Um, should you time me out, Perry? Uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, anyone on the other team fancy a go at this? <laughs> yes, Alice. Le Mans? Is it Le Mans? That's exactly what it is. Well done. Ooh, yeah. our race at Le Mans. A point for you two. So far, this is a very unusual round, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> we keep giving away points to uh, the team that does it. Next one. What is the title? First word only, please, of this song. Every other day. Ken. Monday. Monday is correct, oh. Harry. Oh. Tuesday. Is it Monday, Tuesday? No, it's not. It is not. Anyone on the other team, Alice? Monday, Monday. Is it Monday, Monday? <laughs> Monday, Monday is absolutely <laughs> right. And mamas and papas. Well done. Kyle, you've just got two points in the last two questions, just so you know. <laughs> just, <laughs> from, just from being here. <laughs> <Yeah, exactly. laughs>
Next question. Give me the first word of this answer, please. Who is this? Perry. Munya. It is not Munya, I'm afraid. <laughs> Kyle. Mucha. Mucha is correct. No. No, she will take a look. Back in? No. You cannot, <laughs> I'm afraid you can. You cannot. I'm sorry, Kyle. <laughs> uh, from the Sugar Babes, how much else besides? Is Mucha Buena. Next question. What is the first word of this answer, please? Which BBC TV soap is set in the fictional Glasgow district of Shieldinch? Uh, Ken. <laughs> River. Is correct. Perry? Ken, you're going to hate me. <laughs> I don't know. No. Should we time you out? Yes. Kyle or Alice, yes? I know it's one of two words. OK, what, what, sorry, what are the two words, just before you go for one of them? Side or Dale. Interesting. Which one are you going to go for? Side. <laughs> River, are you sure? No. Go for Dale? No, I'm not sure. Is it Riverside? <laughs> it is not. Here's some good news. It's not Riverdale either. Oh, what? Yes. <laughs> is it River City? River City. River oh. City we were looking for. <laughs> Final question in this round. What's the first word of this answer, please? Which member of Roxy Music left the group in 1973 in order to pursue a solo career? That is Ken. Brian. Brian is correct. Perry? Brian Perry is almost the answer. Rhymes. Terry. Oh, this is not Terry, I'm afraid. <laughs> Anybody? I'd like. Yes, Kyle. Ferry. Ferry? No! Oh, it wasn't Brian Ferry. Was it not Ferry. Brian Ferry? Or was it... Brian Eno. Brian Eno. Was the answer. Oh, I was going for Wait, Ferry. Wait, how was it well? almost the answer? Bad, well, because I, assume, I thought the answer was Brian Ferry. Oh. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. <laughs> I think we were all right. Okay, I got this. <laughs> Brian Ferry was in Roxy Music as well. That's the question writers... They're playing like a real kind yeah, of game of 3D yeah. chess That's with us That's a naughty there. trick. It's the year, isn't it? Yeah. 73. And also Brian, yeah. Brian Ferry is a Y. So why Brian, isn't he? That is the end of that round. It is not normally that much chaos, that <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest. But it was a lot of fun, that's yeah. for sure. And it is, uh, had a bit of impact on the leaderboard as well. Let's take a look at it. Perry, you have two points. Professor Alice has got three points. Ken Bruce has got three points. Three-point lead, though, Kyle smith Bino oh. with six. Right. Well played, Kyle. Nicely done. Three rounds to go. What's our next round going to be today? Let's find out, shall we, as I press this buzzer? <laughs> Win when they're singing. Traditionally a round that DJs do very well at, I will say that. I want everyone to put their fingers on the buzzers, please. What we're going to do is we're going to play you the intro to a famous song. At a certain point, we will fade the music out, play in your head, Press when you think the first word is sung, and whoever is closest to that will win themselves a point. Play along at home, you know how to do this. Get your stopwatch up on your phone, or uh, if you have an actual stopwatch, <laughs> maybe you do. Everyone happy? I Everyone ready? Mm -hmm. OK. Uh, everyone at home, start your stopwatch. Now. Absolutely traditional, everyone buzzes in when the first person does. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're, not, they're not sure what the song is. It was Saturday Night's All Right for Fighting by Elton John. And let's take a look at your <laughs> timings, which I think are going to be quite close to each other. Look at that, all within half a second. <laughs> can I just say, Perry, we can tell you're a professional sprinter. <laughs> look at that, 0.25 seconds was your reaction time. <laughs> Malice is going, it's about as good as it gets. <laughs> So we're all within half a second here. What have you got at home? Shall we have a little listen? See who's closest? <laughs> oh, here we go. Whoa, Perry! Yeah. Give yourself a point. Very well done. <laughs> Nicely played. <laughs> Everyone was very close there. Uh, should we do another one? Mm. 
everybody at home, uh, reset your stopwatches and start them again now. Interesting. Kyle went almost before the music had uh, finished. <laughs> we found love, Rihanna. That's what it was. Um, we all went very, very early here. Kyle, earliest of all, four and a half seconds, all the way up to Perry, who went in pretty much eight seconds. What do you think at home on this one? What have you got on your stopwatch? Shall we take a little listen? See who has won a point. <laughs> Harry, yeah, how about that? With, that's within five hundredths of a second. Brilliant. Oh. Blimey, I think you've been within five hundredths of a second both times so far. Well played, Perry. Kyle, I love you going, ugh, when it, when, when it got the half point that you did, even though the music was literally still playing when you, when you pressed your buzzer. Well played, Perry. Final question in this round. Everyone at home, please start your stopwatches now. Play, of course, with clocks. Harry has won both points so far. She went in eight seconds, and everyone else around about the 14, 15 second mark. What do you reckon on this one? Should we take a listen, see who scored the final point of the round? Mm -hmm. So, be some real showboating if Harry gets it. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, whoa! Oh, went round again. I'm just gonna sit here for the rest of the show. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Twenty nine uh, seconds. L. <laughs> the previous yeah. two were won by 0.05 of a second. You won that with around about fifteen second difference. <laughs> uh, well done. That's the absolute definition of an intro. You talk over. Kent. Oh yeah. 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 Final point of the round goes to Kyle. Well plugged, Kyle. Let's take a look at our leaderboard, shall we? Tied third, we have Alice and Ken with three points each. In second place, it is Perry with four. He's kept his three-point lead. Kyle Smith Bino, seven points. Well played, uh, Kyle. Well Two rounds to go. Let's play round four, shall we? It's going to be. I'm terrible at dating. If you take your tablets out, please. I will give you a series of events from history. You just have to write down the year in which you think they happened, and whoever is closest will win themselves a point. OK? This is your first one. Can you write me down the year when this happened, please? Galileo Galilei is born. In what year did that happen? Ah, oh, man, I'm, <laughs> I'm glad I'm not playing. <laughs> well, when was... Oh, Professor Alice has got a look of... Happiness, like just like well, sort of calm serenity. <laughs> Panic under the surface. Any idea at home on this one? Galileo. Famous for many things, but mainly uh, Bohemian Rhapsody, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is in. Ken Bruce, Galileo Galilei. Did you have any kind of? Well, I thought he'd right about the same age as me, so, uh, you know, but, no, I went a little earlier than that, but I, I'm, am I allowed 100 years either way? Well, if you're closest, you win. Well, yeah. whether I'm 100 years, well, I put 100 either way here, but I've uh, randomly chosen 1763. 1763, says Ken, 1763. Perry, what are you saying? <laughs> I put 100 BC. 100 BC? <laughs> That's 1,800 years difference from Ken. <laughs> Listen, you never know. <laughs> Kyle. I've put 1604. 1604, says Kyle. Not a million miles from Ken. And uh, Professor Alice, what are you thinking? I think I've gone for kind of peak Renaissance, so right in the middle of the 15th century. 1450. Sure. Peak Renaissance. Too early. Peak Renaissance. You can tell you've got a professor on when someone goes, I have gone for <laughs> peak Renaissance. Uh, <laughs> it, if, if I put up there when was peak Renaissance, we'd still be going, I mean, <laughs> yeah. 1763. Yeah. 
Is it 100 BC? Let's find out, shall we? When was Galileo born and who has scored the point? Ooh. 1564. Yeah. Kyle, oh, the, yeah. the, the professor, gets himself yeah. a point. Well played, Kyle. 1564. Well done if you've got anywhere close to that at home. Next one. Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice is published. Hmm. It'll be a Thursday, because all books are published on a Thursday. <laughs> September. But which... For yeah, Christmas for, for Christmas For the Christmas <laughs> market. Or oh, the New Austen... Yeah, New Austen would definitely be a Christmas book. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Perry, it's not 100 BC, I promise. <laughs> promise you. Oh, no clues, please. Yeah, sorry, sorry. OK, everyone's in. Perry, what are you thinking here? I've gone for 1940. 1940. So you've come up a lot from... Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Have you come up too much would be my question. Probably. Yeah. Um, Kyle, what are you thinking? I actually think what I've written is wrong. OK, well, you should have written something else. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it was a little bit later, maybe, but I've put 1867. 1867, says Kyle. Professor Alice Roberts, what are you thinking? I've got a bit earlier. 1820. 1820. Yeah, and I've come right down the middle there, too, with 1837. So we're at three 19th Ooh. centuries and a 20th century. What have you got at home on this one, Pride and Prejudice? Shall we find out and see who's won the points? 1813. Oh, well Alice, done. you're the closest. Very well done. 1813. Final question in this round. I wonder if you can give me a year for this. The first parking meters in Britain are installed in London. Huh. What do you reckon on this? When were the first parking meters in Britain installed? Everyone is in. Kaya, we'll start with you. What was your thinking? Uh, 1972, just because I thought it would be, like, a while ago, but not that... not, like, ages. Kyle, I stopped listening because I'm looking at your drawing. Oh, OK. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> Professor Alice, what do you think? Um, I went for a similar date. I... yeah. Well done. I 1970. Think yeah. Lovely font. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, really nice yeah. font. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Beautiful. It's the year of my birth as well, 1970. Just, you know... Auspicious. Neither here nor there. Ken, what are you thinking? Yeah, well, luckily I'm the oldest person here, so I kind of remember them around in the 60s. OK. And I thought they might have started in the 50s, actually, so okay. I've gone for late 50s and 1958. 1958, says Ken Perry, what are you thinking? 1940, I've done. Sorry. 1940. 1940, says Perry. Yeah. That's what you went for last time. Yeah, I know. Did you just not bother changing it? I actually did <laughs> yeah. change it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 1940, <laughs> which I think, <laughs> I think was the year that Pride and Prejudice was published as well. <laughs> I think I might have gone early, I think. Sometimes these things are earlier than you think, but uh, who knows, 70, 72, 40, 58. Um, let's find out, shall we? When were the first parking metres installed in London? Who scored the point? Mm. 1958. Whoa. Wow. Ken, well, absolutely oh, yeah. bang on. And listen, in this round, it's a tradition. If you get it bang on, two points. Whoa. Well done. Well Ken done. Bruce gets two points. What a lovely end to that round. Tablets away, please, everyone. Ken doing himself a lot of favours before we go into our final round. Let's take a look at the leaderboards. Alice and Perry, you have four points each. Ken, you have five. I had it's been a three-point lead all the way through. Still a three-point lead. Eight to points. We're going to our final round. <laughs> Let's play it, shall we? It is, of course. <laughs> answer smash. Fingers on buzzers, please. Point for a correct answer. Point off for an incorrect <laughs> answer. Kyle has a three-point lead. Ken won yesterday. Is Kyle going to win today? Let's find out, shall we? As we see our first category, which is musical instruments. Those will be the pictures. Who was the first lady of the United States from 2017 to 2021? Yes, Alice. I think it's Ivana Trumpet. <laughs> Ivana Trumpet? <laughs> it is not Ivana mm. Trumpet. Ivana. Um, Ken. Ivanka Trumpet. Ivanka. Ivanka Trumpet <gasps> is also incorrect. Oh, really? Yes, Kyle. Melania Trumpet. Melania Trumpet. <laughs> 
is the right answer, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> All I need is two people to get it wrong. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> that literally could not have gone better for you, Kyle, could it? <laughs> One. Melania Trump, well played. Next question, next musical instrument. Which Norwegian group had UK top ten hits in the 80s with Take On Me and The Sun Always Shines on TV? Yes, that is Professor Alice. That'll be our harmonica. A harmonica? <laughs> <laughs> it is a heart and harmonica, a harmonica. We'll play next question, next picture. What is the northernmost state of the USA? Ken. Alaska Zoo. Alaska Zoo? <laughs> It is Alaska Zoo. Well done. I've been to Alaska Zoo. A lot of polar bears. <laughs> A lot of polar bears. Uh, next category. Journalists. There'll be pictures of some journalists. There'll be clues above. In the Shrek film series, which character is voiced by Cameron Diaz? Yes, Ken. Princess Fiona Bruce. Princess Fiona Bruce? No relation. Absolutely <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, correct, Princess Fiona, Fiona Bruce. And next clue, next picture. Which festive song about walking through a snowy landscape was a UK top 40 hit for Johnny Mathis in 1958? Ken. Winter Wonderland Rumar. Winter Wonderland Rumar. That's correct, he's coming back at you, Kyle. Oh, Absolutely. <laughs> next clue, next journalist. According to the Bible, what are the names of the first man and woman created by God? Ken. Adam and Eve Pollard. Adam and Eve Pollard? He's got another one, Adam and Whoa. Eve Pollard. <laughs> you right there, Kyle? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next category. <laughs> Has oh. Ken done enough? Done Has enough. Ken done enough? I that lost a few with a, a wrong Very answer. impressive. Yeah, that's true. But you got the last four right in a row. Ooh. Let's find out, shall we? On Monday, our champion was Ken Bruce. On Tuesday, our champion is... Kyle smith Bino. Well done, Kyle. Well done. Well done. Thank well you. Done. you. Woo. <laughs> Just clipping my heels. Blimey. <laughs> Very well done, Kyle. You have won the day and you've won yourself a prize. And it's one of these. No chopping board, I'm afraid. Which of those would you like to take back with you? Decanter. Of course. Kyle wins a House of Games decanter. Nicely done. And let's take a look at our leaderboard, shall we, with two days done. Perry with three. Alice with four. Joint leaders, Kyle and Ken, seven points each. Four points between the lot of you. Well done, Kyle. We've had two winners this week. Are we going to get our third winner tomorrow? We'll find out, shall we? We'll see you all here on Wednesday. Look forward to it ever so much. Look forward to seeing you here as well on the House of Games. like me, right? Mm. <laughs> Kinda. It's the only classy prize we have. Oh. That's, <laughs> fine. That's it. <laughs>